It'll be second down and 10 for Armstrong. That's Davis, the freshman in motion. Get that first first down to get into a rhythm. Virginia at 36% on third down, 12th in the league. And that ball is... Oh. Sometimes it matters which way the ball hits. Virginia's second possession from the 34, and Armstrong picks up. Obviously not what he's looking for. Talapapa checks out of the backfield for Armstrong on second down. Pole Jan across. Shane Simpson has come in the backfield now. Transfer from Towson. They'll toss it to him to the left side. NC State. 110 plus, not an ideal spot for a quarterback. It's off to a slow start. Thomas out of talent. The thing he doesn't have is a ton of experience. And I think last week was one of these moments they feel like they can build on with him. Paul Jan steps out of a tackle of Dunlap at the far side. And then Armstrong. And there is Talapapa. And Armstrong to throw. Thought about running with it and does now and will be chopped down behind the line. Voice in common, his demeanor on the sidelines after a couple unsuccessful drives. I'll hold it here. It's third down and seven now. Here's Armstrong to throw back across the middle. Terrell Channa, first down for Virginia across midfield and NC State for the Cavaliers. NC State 46 yard line, final play of the first period. A play fake to Simpson and a throw in the middle of the field and the first catch. For uh. So now first and five at the 14. Armstrong, quick throw. Pole jam to about the... The ability to use him as a runner in those situations. First and goal now for Virginia. Talapapa. Flip week at Pittsburgh. First time I've ever seen him wear anything on his arms to play football. Talapapa driving toward the goal line and breaks the plane for the Virginia touchdown. Paul Jan and Davis here to the near side. That's Jana in motion. Armstrong, the keeper, will not get in. Wolfpack. Brennan Armstrong down. Here's Armstrong trying to sneak it on fourth down. And let's see what they do here because this is right at the line. Well, we're almost to the midway point, a quarter two here in Charlottesville. And the lefty from Ohio. Across the middle, intercepted. It is picked off by Joshua Pierre Lewis. You need to do something to get him settled down. Ball at the 17 for first down. And Armstrong thought about bailing the pocket, now does, got around the edge and angled. Caused the official to throw a flag, I think it's the right call. Devin Boykin, by the way, has been plugged in to replace Engel. Here is Shane Simpson on first down. Walk over and they're still assessing him now. All right, Lindell Stone from Dallas, who played at Woodbury Forest in Virginia, has come into the ball game. And His offense operate more effectively. So now third and nine for the Cavaliers. Two minutes and one timeout left. Stone hits pole jam. Playing prominent roles for Dave Doran, having a bit of a homecoming here today. Another quick throw. This Kemp going to work, and Billy Kemp will get the first down. 12 yard throw, and it's Stone back to work again. Sidearm and almost intercepted. Coaching point there, Wes. Less adventure on throwaways. <laughs> Here's Stone again. Tries the near sideline. Been tough sledding offensively for Virginia. Cavaliers just one of seven on third down. Another third down throw. This one caught Billy Kemp. First down inside the 40. It's the ball to start half two here in Charlottesville. Stone batted away that time. They've continued to have a good response to that in the way the teams come out and play. Here is Stone on second in the full 10, and down the seam, Davis. First and goal. Game in the second half, and it was Lavelle Davis's big plays that really determined the outcome. And Lindell Stone throws. 24-7 is 
Stone and the Cavaliers go to work here. Out in the flat. Catch. Defenses, so they feel good with the ball in his hands. All right, four yards on first down, and Stone puts it in Simpson's hands one more time. Eluded the first guy. An interception thrown by Leary. Here is Stone in Virginia now, off its 20. And Wayne Talapapa. A sudden change, and Bronco Mendenhall probably would like to see his team take another step in their process, if you will. Here's a second down throw, and it is caught at the 30-yard line. Things that's been different between the two quarterbacks is the anticipation from Lindell Stone. Here's Stone again, batted up in the air, and almost deflected back to the quarterback. A little bit of getting used to. This is all part of Bronco Mendenhall's numerology process with his football team, and that ball toward Poljan. Aside, I think Stone's done a, a pretty good job so far. Now he finds himself in a third and ten. Got to be careful with it. Yep. Across the middle and off the hands of Ch You know, often work with Dave O'Brien. I, I think he feels left out. You guys haven't invited him on more. <laughs> yeah. Here's the catch by Terrell. Checking in with his wide receiver group. So I've been impressed just with the way that he's handling himself over here, trying to get these guys going. Stone trying to find something underneath Jana. In the wet weather, and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, go out there and play as well as the starter's been playing. It's not easy to do, and I, I think for the most part, he's done a pretty good job. Kemp prior to the half, his first career touchdown pass. They got Virginia on the board. Third down shot for Kemp again. And Billy Kemp will position and, and Billy Kemp doing a pretty good job of it this afternoon. Yep. First and ten, long throw and two here <laughs> in college football. Here's the give and breaking away the move here to Virginia and picks up a first down there. Simpson again, right side. Hesitated and ball popped loose. And did Isaiah Moore recovered for the Wolfpack? In the conference, and so it seems like every weekend you got multiple good matchups mm. or completion. Simpson on the move, or Talapapa on the move prior to the snap. Here's Billy Kemp, another catch. Something next week, <laughs> Wes. I mean, it, were you looking for him well, that much? How about Terrell Jana went to Woodbury Forest with Lindell Stone? <laughs> Here's Stone and thrown in. Paris Jones is coming to ball game, and he's checking out of the backfield now to the boundary at the left and inside there's Terrell Channel and oh are you kidding me I literally every snap <laughs> first down in 10 Talapapa keeps the legs moving for almost five empty set here for Stone now on second and five back across the middle and dropped love try to roll coverage to him and do things to prevent him with shots down the field Talapapa in the backfield, Stone back foot, and defense got to go get another stop. Virginia scrimmages from the NC State 29. Green. Mm. Stone. And caught Kemp. First and goal at the one. Talapapa and Kemp in the backfield. First and goal here, Stone. Giving ground, throws to the end zone. Touchdown for Tony Poljan in Virginia. Here are the Cavaliers from the 20. And this is Kemp and hit immediately. Seven as we go to the fourth period of play. Second down and six for Lindell Stone. After Brennan Armstrong was injured, here's Wayne Talapapa. He'll be helped out. Oh. He has been making his voice known. He's been helping younger guys and been pivotal in bringing the energy to that defensive side right now. And I think it's pretty cool that they're allowing now disqual. And ball is intercepted and going into the end zone is Aleem McNeil. What have been going on for North Carolina State? Interception, right. punt, 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 missed field goal. That defensive stop and swing of momentum was huge. Terrell Jana. And Stone again. This time a at quarterback is probably a better scenario just seeing what he's done as a passer. 
than still having Brennan Armstrong there. Wait around now with a three score situation. Stone. Good job of pr protecting Stone. Mm -hmm. Wes, I know they like their offensive line, but a fair amount of coverage being played by. Yeah, typically I would say you, you don't get a lot, but in this environment, I think most coaching staffs have been preparing to get multiple mm -hmm. players. Players have no choice here with 904 to play. Talapapa will crash right over the top of it. We've seen Lindell Stone play, Wes. I, I would say that he's gotten a fair amount of work in these situations, and if not, yeah. makes this performance even more impressive. He'll take off, and Peyton Wilson going to track him down, but he's down. See the tight end, three receivers in the set. Stone zips it down the field and almost intercepted. I think so. He, yeah. Based on the reaction of, the, of his teammates, I think for all of them. Stone tried to go back. That's North Carolina State. Stone right between the one and the three to Terrell Jana. Stone looking for the shot and overthrow. We got this under control. Of the, his calmness has been hitting a grounder back to his quarterback. There's a lot going on in that play. <laughs> Here's, and it is caught in. Stone back across the middle and Jana did he hold on yes 16th play of the drive coming up Lindell Stone from the gun going to the end zone looking for there you go the more we can do on the show Tim here's the throw on first down and this is Polje in the tight end and Tony drive as well and so they find themselves backed up but he's done it twice already this afternoon yeah there's a throw and Almost still life left for this Virginia offense third down and six stone hit as he throws and incomplete And a flag is Jersey Fresh set of downs for stone and off the hands game plan West was not to have Brennan Armstrong throw it 50 times. Nope Stone cranks it and over the you know Armstrong left the lineup and so yep. you know that that obviously not you know, the offense we're seeing is not the one they had planned. And drop by him to go. Stone down the middle and broken up. You know there are guys like this, but these the Ruffin McNeil's a special human being in college football for sure. You know, it's interesting to, to hear both of your locker room with the pandemic, you name it. It's always good to have good people around your program. Well, Coach Ruff celebrated a birthday yesterday. Uh, there have been wonderful, wonderful gentlemen and a true delight. And I know this has been uh, it's been a fun day for him. And now his his new team, if you will, the Wolfpack. And in your coaching staff and on your football team is something that should be valued. And both of these coaches value it. And on the NC State win list today. This will be win number 50 in Raleigh for Dave Doran. And he will be.